name is uh, Mike Markoulis. Um, I'm, the, I'm the owner here at Hard Times Billiards in Sacramento. We've uh, been in the business since uh, about 1985, and uh, we, we started in Southern California uh, with, with a couple uh, different billiard rooms, and then uh, settled on the name Hard Times Billiards because uh, Hard Times Billiards was a famous pool room back in the 70s uh, in Costa Mesa. A lot of famous pool players all came out of that pool room. So we knew the fella that uh, had started that business back in the 70s. And, and as we were just getting ready to get started, which was the early 80s, he, his health was failing and, and he had got out of the pool room business. And we had talked to him about uh, using the name and he had you know he was happy to hear that uh, we wanted to do that and uh, so he subsequent, subsequently passed away and then we went ahead and opened up uh, a pool room called Hard Times Billiards in Southern California which uh, was in Bellflower California and uh, we were there for uh, a good uh, 12 years uh, before we sold it and uh, we decided to uh, move up to Northern California. Growing up, um, well, I was, I was a teenager at the time, but my dad actually had a, uh, a pool room with, with a girlfriend that he had. And uh, I, uh, I helped out there as a teenager and thought, man, this is a, this is a pretty good business. And uh, I, I actually enjoyed it. You know, I enjoy. I looked forward to, to working there and helping out. You know, it was a great place to meet girls, which is where actually I met my wife at. Was she was actually a customer of ours? That's kind of how I got started in it. And uh, after my dad and his girlfriend had broke up, that all kind of went by the wayside. And uh, there was an opportunity for me to uh, get into the business at a fairly reasonable price. And uh, so I did that, and uh, everything just kind of grew from there. I've seen changes in the clientele, a lot more um, pool and enthusiasm uh, coming into the sport. Uh, we we promote the sport. Uh, I like to think probably uh, as good as anybody does. We. We've put a lot of money into tournaments. Um, there's a lot of interest because people love to play pool. Pool's a great, a great sport, a great game, but it kind of gets uh, a bad stigma against it, you know. And we've tried to change that, we, and we have done that because it is a sport, you know. This this isn't uh, this isn't a, a yuppie bar where all we do is try and get everybody drunk. We have some of the finest equipment uh, that you can you can put in a, in a pool room. These are uh, uh, gold crown fours and fives, which are some of the most expensive uh, pool tables. Uh, not only are they expensive, but they play the best. It's, it's the best equipment uh, that you could possibly put in a billiard room. This is what we do. This is what we serve. So it, it has to be. I enjoyed having the tournaments. I enjoy um, watching the professional people play and and uh, and they make they make it look so easy too you know I enjoy seeing the younger people that come into the sport that they enjoy playing and and they get really good at it there are some people that that pick certain aspects of this sport up easier than other people and and that's a fact I mean I've seen it over the years I've seen a kid come in and within two years the kids playing almost pro status pro speed and then there's people that come in where we've had customers for 10 and 15 years and their game changes a little bit but you don't you don't see it progress like some people's games do you know and uh, so I, I kind of enjoy seeing that I, I enjoy seeing the younger person come in playing the sport getting good at it enjoying it and just kind of going going from there you know. We actually have a, a class here in the morning for Del Campo High. We have anywhere from 50 to uh, 85 kids in here in the morning, all from high school. And 
And what they've done is they've made this the first period class of the day. And why, and why did they do that? Because the kids like the class so much that they make this the first class to entice them to go to the rest of the day of school. We've been currently trying to get the, uh, the school program to expand. And there, there's a lot of buzz about that right now. Matter of fact, we had, we had some people fly out from uh, the Midwest about a month ago to look at our school program in the morning here. And there is a possibility that they're going to try and implement this thing because it does work so well. We actually have some kids now that were in these classes that are now playing in the tournaments. And not only are they playing in the tournaments, but they are getting second, third, fourth place. And they're playing some professional pool players that have played for 20, 25 years. We try and keep a very clean facility. We take pride in everything. Uh, it's just, uh, we, we just enjoy it. And, and I, I, I think it shows, bec and uh, we, we work hard at it. It's pretty common for us to have a lot of families in here and have them going, oh boy, this, this is a nice place. It's not dark, dingy, seedy. I, I think that we're going to see uh, the sport of pool um, start to be more recognized than it is now. Uh, there's a big push right now to get it in the Olympics. There's lots of talk about uh, million dollar tournaments now where that was unheard of before. Nobody, nobody played for a million dollars. So people would like to see, including myself, would like to see the sport kind of uh, surge up to, to maybe tennis status or, or even golf. So I, I do think that we're going to see the popularity continue to grow. I, I really do. Pool you would consider, I consider, to be uh, what I call a life sport. You can play it as a kid, you can play it as a teenager, you can play it when you're 50, you can play it when you're 80.